viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 1. So this is the 15th episode out of 16. And we go straight to question 22. Given that y is equal to 2x square minus 4x plus 3, find dy dx. So finding the differential or differentiate at the function. So basically at this one, what we do is, remember, once we are given an equation like this, which is ax to the power n, to differentiate this function, what you do is to find y dx is equal to n multiplied by a x then the power n minus 1 so that's the principle that we use so now based on that we have y is equal to 2x square minus 4x plus 3 then this is the same as y is equal to 2x square minus 4x plus 3x to the power 0 that's what it means because anything less to the power zero is one one times three is a three then based on that we can now differentiate dy dx so what we do is two times two is a four then x to the power two minus one which is one then minus here we have the power one one times four is a four then multiply by x to the power one minus one which is zero then plus 0 times 3 is a 0 multiplied by x to the power negative 1 which is 0 minus 1 then uh, simplifying that we end up with 4x then this is nothing but a 1 1 times minus 4 is 4 then this is 0 0 times anything is 0 so this is basically uh, the answer which can also be written as 4 then x minus 1 once we factorize as our answer okay then we go to question b the sketch shows the graph of y equals x to the power 2 minus 2x minus 8 find the coordinates of a and D, B. So these are coordinates. So to find these coordinates, what we do is we get this function and along the x axis, the y is basically equal to 0. So wherever there is y, we substitute with 0 or we replace it with 0. So this is our function. So uh, let us just create space. So what we have is y is equal to 2 equal to x square minus 2x minus 8 this is the function that we have so now in this function whatever there is y here we are putting a zero along this this is the point of intersection the point at a and b the value of y is zero then what this tells me is zero is equal to x square minus 2x minus 8 so this is the same as x square minus 2x minus 8 is equal to zero Remember, this becomes a quadratic equation with the form x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So, a is equal to 1 here. So, a is equal to 1. Then, b is equal to negative 2. Then, c is equal to negative 8. So, if this is the case, we can solve this equation by a simple quadratic factorization method. So, we have x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals to 0 what's the product so a product is basically 1 times negative 8 which is negative 8 what's the sum the sum is b which is negative 2 so what are the two numbers in such a way that when we multiply them they'll give us a negative 8 when we add them they'll give us negative 2 so these are the factors so these are the two numbers which would be the factors will be negative 4 and 2 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2 so we substitute here with these. So this is the part that we are substituting. So this now becomes x square minus 4x plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Then we start now factoring out. So we have two parts here, this part and this part. We group them. So what is common in the first part is x. 
So x into x square is x. x into minus 4x is a minus 4. Then we have plus 2 outside. 2 into 2x is x. 2 into negative 8 is negative 4 equals 0. This is the part. So now the key here is these should be the same. If they are different, then you have a problem somewhere. Then we can factor out what is common. This is common, so we can factor it out. Minus 4 x minus 4. Then into this one is x. Then into this one is basically plus 2 because of this positive. Okay? So this one is common, and this one is that's why we are factoring it out here. Then once we divide this one into this one, we mean if x. Then once we divide the same thing into this one, we mean if positive 2. This is equal to uh, 0. So what this tells us is either this one is equal to 0 or this one is equal to 0 or both. Because 0 times anything is 0. Hence what we are saying is x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. Then what we have is x is equal to 4 once it crosses the equal sign or x equals uh, minus 2. This tells us because we are moving along the x axis, the value of y is 0. This tells me that if I come back here, tells me that at this point I have negative 2, comma, 0 because I am moving along the x axis. Then at b I have basically 4, comma, 0. That's our answer at b. So a is in negative 2 comma 0 then b is 4 comma 0 okay then uh, we go to Roman numeral 2 the minimum point on the graph so the minimum point is basically this which is the turning point so at the turning point the gradient of this line this line is equal to 0 that's the turning point then how do you find the gradient of this line so the gradient of this line is given by dy dx okay so that's how we find so we need to find the value of x at which the gradient of this line is equal to zero so what we do is we differentiate this function then after we differentiate we solve for x once we find x we're going to know the value of x here if we know the value of x we can find the value of y just by substituting the same function this one then we we'll know the uh, minimum point so that's the step we take so let us go to a uh, where we are doing our workings so what we have we have this function we've already had differentiated something before so we're just going straight forward to differentiating so dy at uh, dx i'll be quick now so this one two times one it will be basically two then x to the power two minus one which will just be one then we have one here times two which is a negative two we are going to end up with a negative two then we demand if x to the power zero which is 1. 1 times negative 2 is 2. Then this all thing drops because it will give us a 0. So we have 2x minus 2. Then at the turning point, this function is equal to 0. Hence, we are going to solve for x, which will now be 2x is equal to 2. Once this one crosses the equal sign, it becomes a positive. Then what we end up with is 2, 2, then x is equal to positive 1. So once we know the value of x, we can easily find the value of y. So it's just a matter of getting this x is equal to 1 and substitute it into this function to solve for y. So y is equal to 1 square, whatever there is x, we put a 1, minus 2 times 1, then minus 8. So y is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 8. So y is equal to minus 10 which is y is equal to basically minus 9. That's uh, the value of y. Hence, we are going to have the minimum turning point to be 1, comma, negative 9 as our answer. So, when you come here, you see that uh, the value here at this point will be 1, comma, negative 9. So, as our answer. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this uh, video to be very helpful, please consider liking sharing and if you are new to this channel subscribe to our channel once you go to our channel we discover that we've got uh, so much content for you you'll notice that we've got a uh, mathematics a uh, physics and chemistry 
We've also got a section that is uh, arranged by topics. You could be uh, finding challenges with a specific topic. This is the best section for you.